Episode four of Float the Back Stretch. We're very excited to be here. Um, as you can see, we got a guest, our first guest live in the studio. Yeah, <laughs> Omar Craddock. We got Omar OG. Yeah, OG. Dead. Yeah, Omar Goodness. <laughs> At Omar Goodness Two Ds. Two mm -hmm. Ds. Yes, sir. There you go. Um, and yeah, we're just here to just have a chat. Um, we want to introduce Omar, and we want him to tell a little bit of his story and. Just kind of just have a good chat about track and field. Yeah. yeah. Um, Omar, you can just start off. Just tell us who you are, where you're from, what you do. Yeah. And all um, that. I'm looking at y'all. I'm at the camera. You look at the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one? Well, actually, you can look at us. Yeah, yeah. That's a conversation. Y'all yeah. well, know who I am. <laughs> you know, Omar Crowder, like you said, Omar Goodness, OG. Um, I'm from the great state of Texas, born in Germany. I don't know if y'all know that, but that oh, was a fun didn't. fact. Oh, sure. I didn't know that. Uh, triple jumper. Um, I'm an all around artist, man. Yeah. Right. Uh, we was we was put on this on this earth to create anyway. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's that's really like how I like to present myself. Uh, whether it's musically, right? Yeah. Um, I'm working on a new project. Um, whether it's it's competing triple jump, I feel like it's an art anyway. It's oh, sacrosanct. It Not very many people can do it. Yeah. Um, and and just just artist slash humanitarian. I, I love our people yeah. and so everything I do is to very much elevate our people yeah. in, in any way I can so nice. that's, uh, that's really dope yeah, yeah. shoot Omar I just have to ask because I think the last time I saw you in a competition was like back in 2019 if, I, if I'm correct right. where you been I just saw you you uh you just jumped in in uh in Memphis at the ATL yeah. meet yeah uh, haven't I seen had you a, in a while. I had to sit down, man. <laughs> you they had gave to sit me down. 20 months. 20 months. 20. Um, so now on, on this so-called comeback, I'm calling it the, the double lap tour. Okay. Right? Uh, one of my favorite artists from my home city, Big Spade, he said uh, in a song, how can I be gone? Three consecutive challenges. Jump back in a race, double lap all challenges. So mm -hmm. just the double lap tour. Okay. Um, yeah, that's cool. wow. yeah, that is wild. Yeah. How you come up with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, I've been gone for a little bit, 20 months. Uh, but like you said, 2019 for real. That was my last season. Mm -hmm. um, and so after was it uh, whereabouts file and failure, right? Okay. Um, and for those that don't know, like I'm gonna just jump right into it. Yes, please. Um, I, I did legit miss two tests, right? We, we get three in a year. Mm -hmm. I missed two legit tests, one in August of 2019. Excuse me. The next one didn't come until July of 2020. Mm -hmm. But they gave me a, 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 I think they call it a filing failure yeah. because my 6 a.m. was still in California. My 8 a.m. was here in Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, they found me in Arizona the day that they came looking for, they didn't go looking for me in Cali. Um, they came straight here. So you had two locations. Two different locations. On your on your sheet. Yeah. And then they, so they went to the one location. Yeah. And they found you. And they found me. And they tested and you. And they tested me. Okay. And the test was clean. If you if you had that question yeah. coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. But yeah. <laughs> so no, yeah, they found me, and um, that was that was that. And then boom, they hit me with the X, and I'm like, but wait, I was found. But That's wait, y'all got the test. Wait, it's clean. You know what I mean? Um. But that's, that's just how it was. And then through the whole drawn out process, I'm trying to fight it and beat it. They going, well, your Instagram says you was here. And I'm like, but well, Instagram, we, at times we embellish. We use old pictures. Yeah. And so they asked for the pictures. I sent them the pictures. They didn't come back and be like, oh no, see, here's the timestamp. No, nah, because it's an old picture. Um, a lot of the things uh, throughout the whole process, I was trying to get them to understand, like, you know, after 2019, after winning my gold medal, we got hit with COVID, mm -hmm. right? The world was shut down. Um, everything was up to date, right? Um, they didn't come looking for me in whatever those certain amount of months was until that June so-called failure. Um, mm -hmm. And then that's when everything just kind of snowballed. Police brutality picked up. I was using, trying to use my, you know, celebrity 
to hit the streets and I'm in different protests. So just to show them like, hey, it's not me like, oh, I'm just ducking yeah. these tests. It's, it's things going on in the world that I feel like that, we, that needs to be addressed. So, okay. so what, was their, where I've been. what was their reasoning for giving you a two year ban or giving you that failure if you were tested the day that they you know tested you like oh. like why why even go through the whole you know f you know filing failure if you were tested that day right um that's, what, what is, that's what's a they question tell you? that they have to answer um through the arbitration i'm asking this question okay through many emails i'm asking this question um but they didn't care hmm. they honestly i remember um so i spoke at a juneteenth event and the guy that ran the arbitration was like, yeah, and he's off at this Juneteenth event, whatever that is. Literally, I just literally explained what Juneteenth was, right? Um, and then he goes on to say that. And it's like, th at that moment, I'm like, oh, they don't care. Yeah. So I'm actually fighting a losing battle. Mm -hmm. So they hit me with, well, you can't get 24 months. Well, you gave me 20. You might as well give me the 24. At this point, I, st I, I competed in Memphis. Like you said, you yeah. see, mm -hmm. I didn't have to. Yeah. I could have sat out the next four months and then been ready for next year anyway. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I, that's still, that's a question for them to really mm -hmm. answer. I still don't know. Um, it, 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 it just, it really felt strategic. Okay. Right? At the, at the Pan Am Games, I didn't do any protesting. I didn't even know people were protesting. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to rope this back around for you. But, yeah. You know, that's when 2019, the protests started coming out. I think Gwen protested yep, at the games. Yeah. Um, and then it was, a, I think, a fencer during Pan Ams of 2019. He yes, protested. He yes, all of us were there. Yeah, we all were. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So then I'm, I'm literally about to go on the, on the, to, to receive my medal. Willie Banks asked my coach. He asked Al. He's like, uh, hey, is Omar about to protest? And I'm like, nah. So Al comes to me like, hey. Come here. So I go to the side. He say, are you protesting? Protesting what? So I wasn't thinking of no police brutality. Honestly, this was like any of us athletes, man. We want to win medals. Yeah. So that was on my, I'm like, man, I finally got a gold. Out of yeah. all these years, I'm winning these U.S. champs, NCAA champs, whatever I'm doing, PRs, I finally got a gold medal. I yeah. won a bronze as a junior, like right, junior worlds. But I'm like, dang, I finally got a So that's all that's on my head. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I won. I'm not really, yeah. and I'm still. I think at the time I was still number one in the world. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, nah, protesting for what? All I see is gold in my head. Um, mm -hmm. Get on the, get on the podium, get mine, and that's it. Then when all this come around, COVID happened. Um, the talks of protests at the Olympics start to come up, and so then when we're at the arbitration, I'm letting them know, hey, COVID going on, police brutality going on. This is where I'm at. So I have been at. Uh, peaceful protest. I was at a peaceful protest here in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Spoke there. My wife did. Uh, Will Clay, Queen. We was all at this place. Mm -hmm. um, I went back home and I did one. Um, so yeah, I'm speaking at events, yeah. right? That's what's on my head. So I felt like after saying that, I think that was like, nah, we definitely got to give him 20 months. He got to miss the Olympics. Because if protests are happening, he's going to protest. He's speaking at these. He's probably going to protest. And then for Worlds this past year, they released me two days, July 13th. The World Champs started July 15th. So me looking at it on paper, I'm like, yeah, that was strategic. Mm -hmm. So that's why. To answer your 20 months, I think that was why. Okay. 20 months, we don't want him doing no protest. He'll be 31, 32 when he come back. Hey, he might be on a on the short end of the stick at this point, so. Okay. But they don't understand my hunger. I'm from Killeen, Texas, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't know, USADA is US, United States Anti-Drug Administration, and they have us track and field athletes literally wrapped around their fingers. Yeah. So, yeah. athletes have to fill out their whereabouts 24-7, 365 days a week, 356, 356 days a year. Like, you have to tell them where you're going, where are you going to wake up this day. If you're traveling, you got to have a travel day on on the app. Um, you have to go where, you, where you're sleeping at. Like, yeah, where your you overnight is. Everything at all times so that they have the ability to randomly send a drug tester to wherever you're at. 
to test you for drugs. And, and you're supposed to set a two hour window for you to be tested. The ironic part is they can come at any part Anytime. of the day. Any and the that's day. the part that is the most controversial with a lot of us athletes is because now you've got my whole entire life, right, for right. a year right. mapped out. You know where right. I'm going to be. And I'm telling you my ideal time to be tested. And then I get tested outside of that window. And then I get a, I get a filing failure or a missed test because of that. And I've gotten, one of, I've gotten a missed test because of that. Yeah. Uh, the lady came at 9 o'clock. I was already, it was on Friday, 9 o'clock. Yeah. I ain't home. <laughs> I am in Charlotte, you know, it was back in the day, but yeah, I was in Charlotte, I was in a different city and I, and I got a, I got a missed test because of that. So yeah. a lot of athletes fall into that, yeah. that trap and it's, it's really not fair. I don't not think, yeah. Yeah. Um, I have, I had something similar too. I was in Doha and I had, I had two missed tests in a matter of seven days. The first mm. one I missed it. I, I didn't fill it out. I was overseas and it was a last minute trip. I didn't fill out my whereabouts. That's another thing. They don't they don't take into consideration emergencies, last minute trips. No, they like, don't care. I need to leave now. Like, yeah. You yeah. you're not thinking about whereabouts. You're not thinking about your job. If something mm -hmm. happens, you got to get up and go. Sometimes yeah. you don't have time. So like I was in Doha. This is 2019. I had one missed test because I, I I genuinely forgot to fill it out. I was at this meet in Doha. They literally. It was weird because I don't even know what language they speak in Doha. So I'm like, I tried to fill out the right. whereabouts, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put the address of the hotel because like, oh, this is what I think it is, right? And I think I messed up something. And they were like, oh, you, you filled it out wrong. So you got a, a, a filing failure. Yeah, like you filled yeah. it out wrong, so we're going to yeah. give you a strike. Yeah. And that same day, they tested me because of the meat. Yeah. So they knew uh, I was at the okay. meat. They yeah. tested me. And, and they still were like, you filled it out wrong, yeah. so we're gonna give you a strike. So then from there on, from September, what, 25th, 2020, yeah. until September 25th the next year, I had two missed strikes. If I miss another one, That's I would've been out for two years. Yeah. I would've been, yeah. would've been over with, you know? Yeah. So yeah. like, it's just like, they gotta do something better to accommodate the athletes, because there's athletes like us that, that are really doing everything we can to show that we're clean, show that we're doing, you know, we're trying to follow directions, but like, they're just like, nah. You know, we, yeah. on top of what happened with my situation, we have so much evidence that text message, text message exchange between myself and my agent, where I'm like, yo, my flight, I think my flight got canceled, so I'm in, August 2019, I missed one. I just won the gold medal at the Pan Ams. So I was supposed to be getting into like the, the Paris Diamond League. Mm -hmm. um, and like I got stuck traveling. I think I flew from Peru to Belgium. Somewhere, anyway, somewhere I got stuck. Yeah. Wi-Fi spotty. So me oh, and the agent, obviously, in America. Yeah. We don't have cell, we don't have cell <laughs> service in exactly. every country in the world. Yeah. So how are we gonna fill it? Yeah. Right, so yeah. we, we you know, I'm texting my agent, I think it's like probably four in the morning in America, 2 p.m. over there. And I'm just like, all right, so what's the deal? Should I pay for it? Then he called, then it, it dropped. Like it's so many, and we sent, I sent every exchange. Yeah. I even sent the video of faultiness on the website to where I would put, what was it? I don't know if you remember, I put like, uh, I think I was living in Cali at the time and I put Chula Vista, California. He kept saying Chula Vista, Texas. There is no such thing as Chula Vista, Texas. Mm. And I have it on video. So I sent it to my agent. Excuse me, I had to get two different lawyers, right? Sent it to them and I'm like, like this is, I'm trying to show you. So whatever, with my 6 a.m. Cali and Phoenix time, it could have very well just been a mistake. Like, cause I don't remember doing it, mm -hmm. right? So, and then I'm showing them a video. Hey, look, this is what happened. It's popping up Chula Vista, Texas. I don't want to get charged for this too. Yeah. They didn't take that in consideration. Yeah. So, or maybe they didn't took off the four months. Yeah. So. I have a question. The, and I remember this too. You're an athlete that likes to help other athletes out, right? For sure. So during this process, did you have anybody come and try to help you, or was there some somebody, a representative from USA Track and Field, the AAC, uh, anybody come try to help you? AIU, any of, any of these Nothing. organizations? AIU was who prosecuted me, mm -hmm. right? Oh. Put me in the dirt. Um, spoke on the phone with USATF. Um, from Max to Renee to they provided no, no support. Nah, and here's the thing. And then I'm glad this is this is a perfect place to, to, to speak on it. Um, I love Shakiri because Shakiri is from the great state of Texas. Mm -hmm. I had a simple request, and I'm just like, one, I asked, hey, did y'all get to read my my case? 
No, nah, we haven't read it. All right. Cool. So when you get the chance to read it, if you agree that this just doesn't seem right, can you just make a statement? Well, no, nah, we don't do that kind of thing. But I'm like, all right, but you're saying you support us as athletes. Mm -hmm. I'm going through the situation now. I don't feel supported. So how are you supporting us? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, then, then he turned around and hit me with the, well, you guys are professionals. You're supposed to do Cool. All I'm asking for is a statement. If you read it, make a statement. Some months go by. Shakari situation happened. USATF has a statement. That's on the like, wow. Okay, that's all I asked for. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't ask for no money, right? I didn't ask you to go to bat for me. Mm -hmm. Just say, just say, hey, us as USATF, we don't stand by this. I feel like that would have made some kind of noise. Mm -hmm. Then maybe they would have been like, all right, you know what? We see where you guys are coming from. Yeah. But I was battling on my own. Yeah. Um, in terms of different athletes, I hadn't heard from many athletes until uh, Memphis, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's been a few very far in between. AAC, I was a part of AAC, but uh, that didn't really go anywhere. Um, yeah. Asking for help then, too. Um, it was supposed to be some com phone conversation that was supposed to happen, but never did. Mm. Um, they did they did give me like a lawyer or somebody to use, but she wasn't actually a lawyer or something like that. So paralegal or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Okay. Um so I just I went at it all by myself. Mm. Um I have all the recordings. Yeah. Between any, anybody that called me during that time, hey, this is getting recorded and then boom, let's let's have a conversation. So, okay. Uh, but nah, nah. It was me, myself, my wife, uh yeah, man, and that, and that showed me a lot, like uh, just in the sport and, and just the, the different athletes where it's like, uh, we want the support. And and w the conversation we were having off camera before on just further in the sport, we got to come together. We have to be a collective. Yeah. And so during that time, I reached out to Coleman. Um, I think we may have had one conversation if that. Uh, Gabby helped me, she helped me with a lawyer because uh, she had a similar situation, so. I remember that, I remember yeah. that, right? Yeah. 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 So that was that. about it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was cold out there, man. Man, I, I, I can't imagine having to go through that with no support, because I think about the AAC, AAC, Athletes Advisory Committee, and they're the ones that are supposed to voice for athlete concerns. You know, if anything's got a problem, you're supposed to go hit them up first. Yeah. And it just seems like, you know, <laughs> if USATF is not going to get behind you, then you're probably not going to get any other support. So I'm yeah. just, the AAC to me is that shining beacon of light that's supposed to, on paper, voice and fight for all athletes. And it just seems like they're not going to bite the hand that feeds them at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's unsettling. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. What, like I said, I got all kinds of <laughs> I don't know when, when that day might come. Okay. But, like, it's, it's, it's not there, man. It, it got to be scrapped and, and redone. Yeah. In a way of like, and there there's other members that have gone through different situations. I was like, I understand what you're going through, man. I had to get banned too. All right. So you understand. You understand how much it is. Come on now. Yeah. Where's a fund? You know what I mean? Like, let's let's get some, even a team just looking into it. Mm -hmm. to, to get all the honesty out. All right, did you really, what was you doing? Yeah. What was it? How did you miss it? What was going on? Yeah. It, I was, I feel like I was my own lawyer during the whole time. I, I wrote for my lawyers. I'm like, this is what I want. This is what we need to figure out. Mm -hmm. I have them emails, man. Like, yeah. what are we doing? Yeah. That's truly unsettling. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tough. It's cold out here. Yeah. Um, and then what, what sucks is, you know, the picture that gets painted is, Anytime if if drug anything come up, oh yeah, he cheating. Mm -hmm. So now my, my Instagram, I'm getting blown up. You would cheat, you would this, but so at least if you SADA, AIU, water, whatever you're gonna put out, put clean tests, but mistakes. Miss, you know what I mean? yeah. Yeah. That was the thing yeah. I asked them. Yeah. Do y'all yeah. not make mistakes? Yeah. They was like, it's not about us. But no, that's not the can you not see what's going on? If it says Cali here, Arizona here, I got tested. Can you not see COVID happen? We're supposed to be six feet away anyway. Why would you want to take blood? Why would you want to do this? All right, people that look like myself, and I told them, hey, I'm about to have a kid, a boy at that. 
So it's men that look like me that are getting killed. Mm -hmm. So who am I and what would I be to this world if I don't at least show my son, hey, I, I, stu I stood up, I spoke. I was trying to show us a way to navigate through what's going on outside of our house. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So that was, it was, that's why I feel like there was no consideration. Yeah. Give me, give me the extra four months then. That's nuts. I, I kept asking, hey, let me get some time, sir. I would take, I think I wanted 18 months. Okay. That would have at least gave me time to do March for the U.S. The, champs yeah. to try to make the, the world team. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but. What, uh, what do you feel like needs to change in this process? Like, do you need more representation? Do we need a complete overhaul on how we test athletes? Do we need, you know, to revisit the three missed test rule? Do you think that's even effective, right? Do you think that's actively stopping uh, people from using drugs? Nah, no. I don't think it's stopping people from using drugs because after my case, I think there were like three other athletes that got actually caught mm. taking drugs, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, I think what needs to be revamped for sure is is definitely, I mean, I wrote this down, but I, it's whatever the protocol is, right? I do believe and feel we deserve some kind of call. Not not at the last five minutes. Oh, call, yeah. Hey, if, if you have an hour window or two hour block, mine is typically set at 6 a.m. I'm up at five, Yeah. so come see me at six, all right? Or hey, come before, but six o'clock, come see me then. Um, Cause by that time I'm doing yoga, stretching and stuff. And then by six, I'm probably gonna do the bathroom. So if you show up between six and seven, you in a perfect window. Um, courtesy call, hey man, I'm on the way. Are you home? I'm here, cool. Now let's just say like what they have now, I think they post to only call you yeah, in the last five minutes. Even, yeah. even still, what, what does that, what does that change? Like if, 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 if they're able to call you, like, like what can the athlete do at that point to like, I think I think in their minds it's like you don't hide all the drugs you got on the counter. I mean, but if it's in your, <laughs> it's in your blood, it's like, in the plastic bag. Obviously, you can hide it under the counter, put it in the drawer. Yeah, at, yeah. At that but point, like, yeah, like, you're. Like, why do they say, "Oh, you can't call them to the last five minutes"? Till they're leaving. What yeah, is that? What, they're about like, to what, leave. Like, what is that? That's my thing. It's like just my wife said earlier. A lot of people outside of the sport see us as robots, so that's a robotic system. If I'm telling you, we have to do a three months, right? Three, uh, every quarter or something mm -hmm. like quarter. that. So yep, if I quarter. give you three months of my life, let's say it's August, September, October, September, uh, God forbid, you know, I lose a family member. I just gotta go. I'm like, oh wait, you saw it. Let me make sure I don't yeah. do I'm not thinking about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I fell off, I broke my leg, I'm in the hospital. Oh shoot! I'm, I, let me tell you something. Like, yeah. These are things that I don't think they take into consideration. Yeah. And then you know we we've seen it with other people cases where it was it was some of that. I, I believe Don. I don't know if y'all remember Don Harper I had do. a situation with a TUE. I do. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about all on social media crying. Yeah. Like, do I lose my life or do I take my medication? Yeah. I don't I don't want to be caught. I don't want them thinking I'm a drug cheat. But I can't breathe. I can't remember what it was. I think she couldn't breathe for real. Some kind of situation. I can't really remember. But yeah, I remember that. I do. It was it was something like that. Yo, I'm I'm going through it. But if I do this, they are gonna say, yeah. I'm gonna get banned. This yeah. is my livelihood. So it has it has to be revisited. Um, they they got to do more digging when it comes to. Oh, you missed three. What really happened? Yeah. Um, what, what yeah, instead of a black and white, you missed it, you didn't miss it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. so much that can, that can happen in yeah. a day, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. And I just, I feel like at least to start, give us a call. Yeah. Right? If we have an entire hour, I could be at Walmart, like Christian Coleman. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I could have just left. And then where you at the house, and then Walmart is packed, right? They only use three... Three, three checkout three lines. Three out of the 20 lanes they got. <laughs> <laughs> then the machines might be broke because it's self-checkout. Like, yeah. hey, I'm in line. Or, hey, you got four minutes. Or it's a miss. Come on, man. Yeah. And I got a son. Like, yeah, those are other things. I, yeah. I can't lead a fool. Yeah. Come see me at Walmart then. I, yeah. I ain't moving. <laughs> yeah. So the, the, it's some things. And then outside of that, us or our governing body has to do more. Yeah. Again, like I said, I just asked for a statement. I asked him, hey, are you scared? 
that, that ruffles some feathers. <laughs> but it is, no, I'm not scared, man. I'm, I'm just as militant as you, you know. But anyway. Yeah. Um, but that's the other thing. We, we need real support. Yeah. We need real support, especially for a lot of us that do not have these contracts, like the so-called bigger names. Mm -hmm. The money we make, the money I made, went into the lawyer fees. Mm -hmm. So you just taking money from me to be like, hey, man, there's a possibility we can get 12 months for you to still give me 20 mm -hmm. out of the 24. So I'm going to just keep going back to that so the people can know, like, dang, how much was it? Enough to take a lot. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean. So, it's it's a lot that needs to be changed for sure. That's um, nice, man. So coming coming, out, well, it's, it can't be boiled down to coming out of this. It's so much more complex than that. But like <laughs> yeah. coming out of this whole debacle and like this issue, like does this change your overall faith in the sport, perspective of the sport, like like investment in the sport? Like how do you like before this you had a perspective of track and field? Yeah. What is it now that you experience all of this? I'm a, I got to be honest, man. My, my perspective has been constant yeah. since I've entered the world of professional sports. Yeah. Outside looking in, you see it like, oh, he in Monaco, somewhere in Germany. And, and it looks cool, right? Yeah. A lot of us, we post cool social media pictures, videos. Um, so outside looking in, it's a wonderful thing. Excuse me, as soon as I entered into the sport, like I said, I never had the big contracts. So either I was working a job or somehow coaching myself, somehow trying to get my own deals. I was always doing a lot of work that I shouldn't have been doing. Um, so my idea, the faith of the sport has been constant, but I do have faith that it will get better from the efforts that we put in. Yeah. Since I've come in, you remember when you and I first met, mm -hmm. It was, I'm just trying to get a game. Hey, look, oh, you ain't got a deal? Check this out. Bro, just, hey, you ain't, you ain't making the money, stay inside. You're gonna see some of the, the athletes that you looked up to, might compete, go party, might do whatever. Hey, man, just hang inside. Yeah. Get to know the meat director. Yeah. Hey, uh, present them with something, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Try to sell something there so they're like, right, I'm gonna just bring you back anyway. Yeah. You helped us bring more fans. You wanted to, any, anywhere I go, I try to do a camp. So my agents, and this is for any anybody that's trying to get into this track and field world, I tell my agents, just book me a camp. Just let me let me touch the people while I'm there. Yeah. So that way, while I'm there, hey, that's who I am. I'm a triple jumper. Jump tomorrow at, at eight o'clock. Come see me. So now I've, I've built the fan base there, mm -hmm. right? Um, whatever the niche may be. I know you were teaching at one point. So mm -hmm. hey, take me to the school. Take me to some kindergarten, elementary, high school. Let me go touch the people. Um, so that's, again, those are the efforts, just to wrap this back around so it makes sense. Um, outside of that, there are things that are happening here in America, American Track League, uh, this new situation, TFL. Yeah, we hope that yeah, it pops yeah. off. Uh, those are efforts that, I, that I, I'm happy about. Yeah. And th those are the efforts that I've seen when I first got into the sport. So my family can come see me. Yeah. So we could be on TV here in America. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. it's it's those things, those entities that I, I want to be a part of. Yeah. Because that's going to make me, make us seem and be more professional. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and then we could we could support it. We could we could rock the gear. Yeah. We can we can we can have more. We have the best athletes in the world here. Mm. Right. We sure do. Best we athletes sure do. in the world. But then when they're looking at us and. Middle school, you know, we've done speaking engagements, middle mm -hmm. school, high school. They like, well, did you go to the Olympics? When are you going to the Olympics? <laughs> Everybody don't make the Olympics. Yeah. But look, I am that fast. Yeah. I do jump that far. I yeah. throw that far. Yeah. You should come see me. I'll be in your state Whenever. this yeah. summer, yeah. 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 next yeah. winter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. But if we don't have it, try to catch me on YouTube. Yeah. So, yeah. so what keeps you motivated in between? the initial you know glory of seeing track and field be at its height would you want it to be to like to getting there like it's the track and field is not there yet so what is keeping you motivated still to come back even after you're you know banned by usada what's uh -oh. why how are you still still so motivated and what is keeping you so motivated yeah. um i'm motivated uh one to to show my son mm -hmm like what daddy does. I've always wanted to, as a kid, I always wanted to be a professional athlete in football. It was like, yo, I, I've never seen Craddock 
in the NFL. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen William. Have you ever seen the Crittenton? I know your no. name's kind of no, no. right. Nope. So Eaton, there's a few. I mean, I, I feel like they're yeah, yeah. But you know, you see, William, you see, you see the like, common names all the time. So when I'm watching the NFL as a kid, that was my dream. I'm like, I've never seen my last name. So I always wanted to be that. I always wanted to be on TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that I have a son, I want him to be able to look. Like, That's daddy. Outside of family, my goals in the sport have always been to just be the best. And so I still want to be the best. Yeah. That's honestly what keeps me going. I want, I've always wanted to be a professional athlete. So since we're still fighting to, to uh, describe what a professional athlete in track and field is, we're still building it. I think off camera, I said it only takes one of us. Just like we say in, in the jumps, hey, with you guys, it only takes one. Yeah. One perfect race. Yeah, yeah. One race. You one did it. One yeah. jump, it doesn't need to do it. So, one season. It could take one season of people like, yo, why was Omar? I seen Omar at the Memphis thing when he first got off his band. Now I seen Omar at the American Track League. They have him in Phoenix now. Now I seen Omar at a Texas one and the Atlanta one. He in New York. When is he going to go overseas? Mm -hmm. I just seen him in Jamaica and like the Caribbean islands, right? So I feel, now I'm gonna just get into it. I feel like that's how we gotta do it. Yeah. Right, and that's what keeps me motivated. I like to be a pioneer for everything. The, la the latest videos I posted was like the aerial view of me jumping. Yeah, that was I dope. I want people to look like, appreciate that. And that, yeah. that wasn't even my idea, so shout out to yeah. that. I understand the vision, but yeah. when he sent it to me, I'm like, oh, this is cold. Like, yeah. But we don't, we don't get these different views. Mm -hmm. um, I tell people, field defenders, we're the heartbeat of the sport. I, we love you guys, yeah. right? But you out there for 12 to 13 seconds. Yeah. Then you gone. For sure. You same yeah. boat, the sprinters, nine to 10 seconds. The ladies, 10 to 11 seconds. 400 a I minute. Think about it like that. Yeah, you, yeah. You're gone. <laughs> yeah. Outside of the 20,000, right? Yeah. Complete circles, we're out there entertaining people. Yeah. And the that entire you do. time. We have so yeah. many different personalities. Yeah. People see how I am. Then you look at the woman's side. Raven Saunders want to twerk all day, right? She went, I, I love Raven. Yeah, you see, you yeah, see, yeah, your, yeah. Your, yeah. your reaction is, yeah. we the heartbeat, <laughs> yeah. right? After those 10 seconds is gone, then it's like, all right, what's the next race? Yeah. You can at least look in the infield like, oh, there go this guy with the glasses again. Yeah. yeah. They go Christian Taylor, he, he missed a six jump. Yeah. They go Will Clay, he the, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's always some kind of something. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what honestly keeps me going. I can go on this all day. Yeah. Me, Will, and Christian, I feel like we've been the big three since we come out of college. Mm -hmm. And that whole big three thing, it's been put on us like through Twitter, right? Mm -hmm. When uh, it was LeBron, Wade, and Bosh. Mm -hmm. And then I think Dendy gave us the name, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. When he was in, he was like, oh yeah, y'all the big. And, and I'm gonna put this out there again. If my brothers, <laughs> would, if we would train together, we would, we would really, <laughs> We would we would we would destroy the world record. Yeah, it's it's, it's I don't think nobody can train the way that we train. So yeah. those are the things that that keep me hopeful. Yeah, um, that keep me going is because I truly love competition. If if the Diamond League all this was dismantled, if y'all was like let's go race, let's get it. Yeah, it's how how much we putting up though. Yeah, let's get some people from the neighborhood. We in Phoenix, yeah. cool. Let's just call them. Yeah, hey man. Yeah, one two three. Hey, who you got? Yeah. Let's let's yeah. just do it. So I just love competition, yeah. man. Let's just for sure. Yeah, I think you definitely do, and it's it's bringing me back to one of my earliest memories of you. Well, not earliest, but my favorite memory of you was when you wore the hard hat. Oh, <laughs> that is my favorite Omar. Yeah. My God, yeah. I, I just remember watching you in your element. Like yeah. you didn't care what anybody. I was like Omar, why are you wearing a hard hat? Are you hard? Yo, hard yeah, hat, hard like hit, to, yeah. to the jumps. He's like, yeah, I'm about to go to work. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm going to work. <laughs> and that, that, that gave it My gosh. You, yeah. When we ride in our cars, you see hard hats, you know, they, them men are working. They are working. And that's honestly where it came from. Uh, I was living at the training center in Chula Vista, and uh, they just started doing some remodels and um, seeing a bunch of hard hats. And I'm and every morning I get up like, hey, y'all using that? Y'all using that hard hat? <laughs> <laughs> it was five in the morning and they would start coming rolling in all yeah. the athletes still sleep yeah. so i'm getting my just my meditation on read go run come back and then they just get busy by 6 15 they get busy yeah and i'm like these men going to work man, i loved it yeah and then i'm just like hey <laughs> hey i go to work i go to work <laughs> and then the, the, when, the, when the championships was coming i said oh i'm finna f these boys yeah up. 
And that's it. And that's the thing. I, I love competition. Yeah. I love, I look like com to me, competition is, yeah, let's see who, who's the best. Yeah. But it's also, how can I get you out your game? Yeah. Because it's it's more of a mental thing. Everybody says that, right? Oh, yeah. We do these for interviews. Sure. For sure. Oh man, I worked on my mental the most. Are you really? Because if you compete against me, I'm gonna tax yeah, you. You're gonna mental. test it, yeah, for I'm sure. Definitely gonna do it. So yeah. you see somebody That's coming up. I, I need to add some add some play in my Try hey, to get under people's skin. Hey, that, and that's that. It helps. It it helps yeah. me because it's just I'm confident in what I can do. Yeah. Whether when we release more of the mic'd up situation from Memphis, mm -hmm. you're gonna see. Oh, I was confident. Yeah. Even in that little clip, I'm like, well, I ain't gonna be worried. Yeah. I ain't gonna be shocked. Like, yeah. I'm ready to be dog. They in trouble. Yeah. I'm talking my talk. Just because I'm that confident in me. Period. Yeah. Yeah. It don't. It doesn't matter. I've been off two years. Just about. I like me. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. like me. Yeah. So. so to bring it back to the to the your last competition, your earliest post on Instagram, you're trying to get a whole group of people yeah. to go compete. Yeah. Could, could you tell me if that happened and yeah. you know, or did it did it pan out how you wanted to? And so and it, how does the fear of competition, you know, kind of stifle? Yeah. Bigger yeah. performances or just y'all meeting up in general. So it didn't happen how I wanted. Okay. Um, but that was to show everybody across the board, all athletes, not just the jumpers, but all the, my 29,000 followers mm -hmm. is, we have a lot of ducking in our sport. Sure right? do. You got sprinters. I remember, and yeah, I don't know if yeah. this is true, but we had Usain, we had Justin. Oh, Justin, you duck, you ducking. Oh, Usain, ducking, ducking Justin. Oh, now we got the young Coleman coming up. So whatever it is, somebody's ducking somebody. So. I'm not ducking nothing. I ain't ducking no fade. If you call me out, one, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta be able to compete, right? <laughs> everybody everybody yeah. just can't call me out. I'm yeah. just show up. Yeah. But so that was that was the the premise behind it. Um, Ed Murphy Classic. They I've never seen them have triple jump. American Track League has never had triple jump. Mm. So I'm like, well, Christian Taylor, your agent runs the American Track. I'm like, why didn't I have triple? Cool. It, it is what it is. Like I said, I like to pioneer things. Yeah. So here it here it goes. Find the contact. Hey yo, look. I think I messaged them. They messaged me back on the DM and was like, hey, let's just get on the call. As soon as I seen it, hey. And and if you if you watch the Memphis interview or, or the uh yep. whatever you call it, uh the press conference. Press conference. Mm -hmm. That was uh, I think Eddie was like, yeah, man, you. I was there when you called. Actually, this was our one-on-one -on -one conversation at the house. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. like, I was there. You called and was like, we need the triple jump, man. What's up? Let, let's let's make it happen. So that's how it went. Um, hit him. Hey, how can we have the triple? What? However, the text message kind. It's still up on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. However, it went. He he just said, this is Max. If you get the athletes, we'll have the triple jump. Done deal. Cool. So we yeah. we live in a sport where people duck. Here it is. <laughs> You take it as you want. Yeah, I'm calling you out. I ain't got to say too much. Yeah. But here it is. Yeah. Here's a competition. It's not like some made up meat. It's a silver meat. It's a American track lead meat. Yeah. It's, I think it's a rated B out of A through D or something like mm -hmm. that. So it's a, it's a one is A, two is B. So cool. It's, 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 a, it's a respectable meat. It's a legit meat. meat respectable yeah. meat. Um, and I tagged all the top jumpers. Pedro Hughes. Um. Jordan Diaz, Will, Christian, all of us jumpers here in the U.S. The only one that showed up was Chris Carter. Wow. Um, they had to find the rest of the athletes. At first, as you see, and I leave it up there to show all the athletes, I'm there. Let's do it. So it was showing solidarity at, at, at one point. Yeah. Right? Yeah, well, um, yeah. Excuse me. But still, the hope behind that is to show, like, look, y'all were with it before. You see the turnout. You see this, the aerial view. You see the mic'd up. Now, when we do this again, <laughs> you might want to be a part of it because it's going to get bigger. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's again, my, my, um, my way of adding to the sport, right? Um, and so, and that's, that's just how that, what that came about. Okay. It didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but I'm thankful Chris Carter showed up. Yeah. He was one of them that, 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 um, that I tagged. And then I'm thankful for the other two, two athletes, uh, do airlines, 
Yeah. And I just met the other app. I can't remember his name. Okay. I try to be respectful. Yeah. But, you know, I'm only yeah. disrespectful at the at the event. That's funny. That that's yeah, dope, so, man. That's yeah, that's cool. Um, let me check. Let me check. To make sure we still good on on. Oh, for sure. On the mic for sure. and recording and stuff. Done deal. Like, yeah. yeah. No, I like it. This is this is something. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we on we on prime time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Or a city hall or something. That's the second comment we got. say Oprah, but it's like y'all are men. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we on the couch. I don't think Oprah was always in the stands. Mm -hmm. So. Walker. Yeah. I think Ricky Lake. Y'all remember Ricky Lake? Yeah, that was Oprah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember Ricky Lake? Though? I do remember she Ricky was Lake. Too, right? yeah. yeah, walking around and stuff, yeah. So I guess it's more like Ellen is the only one I'm Ellen thinking is, is the like couch. the couch, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Dr. Phil had them high chairs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, you want, you want water? You good? I, I'm good, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a, uh, I'm cool with this. Let me get a steel. A steel is, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you can have this one. I'm not going to drink this. Oh, cool. Right okay. This is. Oh, you got it. Uh, and this make it more intimate. I think I and I now being here on the couch, it uh it feel like we we on the couch now. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. just it's a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, last time we had to sit on that circle. Yeah. Okay. With the high chairs. And it looked kinda cool, but like it wasn't like it was almost uncomfortable sitting up there. Yeah. Like yeah. you got a yeah. little bit more room to move around, actually get comfortable, like yeah. you know, like that yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. So, um, shoot, what was I gonna say? Uh, we had just talked on just a uh, yeah, competition that, that Instagram yeah. post. Yeah. 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 Freddie, you have a stuff you want to say? I feel like well, we we didn't officially we didn't officially officially welcome Omar back. <laughs> yeah, to, the, to the grind. To the, yes, to sir. The, to the ladder. Yeah. Let's go. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, welcome back, bro. I appreciate that. Always, yeah. always glad to have you around, bro. I remember when I first met Omar. First, uh -huh. first, first time overseas. Yeah. I had a shirt that said Jesus is dope. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a shirt that said Jesus. I went in to just kick it with some people at the hotel. And Omar saw my shirt and he thought it said Jesus is dead. Oh. Yeah. He was like, uh. We're going to have to have a conversation. <laughs> yeah. like, what do you mean? Like, Your shirt say Jesus is dead. I said, no, bro. No, 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 no. Jesus, let me, let me. Yeah, Jesus is dope. Yeah, yeah. From then on, we've been kicking it. Yeah. I asked him to be my mentor, bro. Yeah. He showed me the ropes. Like, yeah, the first time overseas, I was like, I don't know nothing. Yeah. But me and Omar was there having conversations, yeah. having Bible study, praying, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. And like. Then at one point y'all had the same agent. Yeah, Did you have TC? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. Tony yep. Campbell. Yeah. yeah. So. That's what's up, So since then, shoot. We've been home. It's been solid. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's again, I, I'm I'm glad you shared that because it's I, I feel like there's many moments like that. Um I don't know, man. I, I feel like I, I like to I like to be in in our neighborhoods, right? Yeah. Um I'm from the ghetto of Killeen. I'm from downtown Killeen, right? And uh Everybody that's from the ghetto or from the hood, they got OG. Even everybody got OG. Everybody your dad is your OG. They don't. Your granddad's your OG, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how I try to be on the sp for the sport. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I mean, even when I came in, I wasn't the oldest, but I had an experience that the older athletes didn't necessarily go through because a lot of them, when we come into the sport, we know all these. Like these are the famous athletes. Yeah. The sport is not as famous right now. Yeah. Yep. So I'm, and I'm, as a realist man, looking at it like, dang, it's, it's athletes, like I said earlier, looking in like, yo, I can't wait to be pro. And I'm looking back like, why? <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? What do you think? What do you think is so special? Yeah. Because this grind, if you don't, if you don't honestly love the sport love or it. love yeah, to compete, sure. mm -hmm. why do you want to be a professional? Yeah. Because... Again, we post the pictures. Some of us gonna keep it real. Yeah. But but we do, a lot of us, all of us post the good pictures. Mm -hmm. Cause hey, let's make the cool A aesthetic. We're we're trying to uh, inadvertently be uh, influencers. Cause I don't necessarily want to be an influencer. Yeah. But I know hey, companies like to see a clean looking Instagram. Cool. Yeah. Let me. I, I bought. That's what I bought a camera for. Yeah. So any pictures when I would, again, any athletes coming up. When I knew I was going into negotiations, and I'm like, look, here's what you'll get from me. You're gonna get quality. Mm -hmm. You're not just gonna get a a cell phone picture of me like 
you gonna get yeah, yeah, the gonna DSLR. Get, yeah. mm-hmm. You gonna get the aerial shot. You gonna get all. You gonna get the works as much as I can 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 do for your product with me in it. So I'm telling athletes, hey, look, cool. You want Nike? All right. Well, it's a negotiation. It's a contract. Yeah. You can negotiate that. Yeah. If they don't want to go with it, cool. Take your talents on somewhere else. But we get caught up in. I need to shoot deal. I need to shoot deal. I was cool with buying two pairs, right? Of spikes, maybe two hundred dollars, one one ten a piece. Um, I do break spikes quite often, but I can at least handle some business through them, mm-hmm. right? And that's all I needed to do. I don't need. I, I have my own uniforms yeah. since two thousand. I came out in twenty thirteen, didn't sign nothing. Twenty fourteen, I jumped for my for my club back home, Jump Court. Yeah. So I was wearing Jump Court, whatever it was, I'm cool on it. I bought the Mizuno Spikes. 2015, I signed with Adidas, so they was giving me the Spikes. But even then, all right, so I'm not getting paid, I have my own uniform. Yeah. 26, and then I think by 2017, I made my first one piece, I had a designer, shout out to Brian Nicole. Um, she made like two, three different uniforms for me. So that was, that's my way of, sh- again, showing the sport, hey, you want the Nike kit? Why? You yeah. want to be professional? Why? Yeah. I don't want the Nike kit. I don't want the Adidas. I don't want the Asics kit. Unless you're going to pay me for sure. But yeah. Yeah. I have my own. How about you wear mine? Mm-hmm. I got them on my website. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's to all the other athletes. Oh, man, I can't. Well, you can make the money. Because yeah. then once I've made the money, I've sold 50 uniforms at Fifty dollars a piece. Yeah. However much money that was, because I just I threw a different number out from mm-hmm. what I sold mine for. But I go to the company. Hey, look, I made fifteen thousand on my own uniforms. I made that right yeah. off uniforms. Yeah. I made seventy thousand competing. I made eighty five. I need a hundred for me. Yeah. That's the second gem you just dropped this interview. <laughs> you see, the, 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 yeah. the second big one though. Looking 
calm down. Pressure when you see me. When I'm sliding through the city, I calm down. I calm down. If I if I for real for real, I calm down like drop. It, it go down like drop. Bad bitches I swap. In my city we top. Of the game on gang gang, no gang bang, but all the people I ride for, I live for. No set trip, my mood too smooth. Price on a feature, depending my mood. Trip too hard, I dare in a pool. Look too hard, you might see a two. Choke up your two if it's peace. Choke up the two if it's grease. Number one road, I'll talk to police. Shit. Number two road, I'll pull out tight to the freaks. And every day, you should keep it sharp as a crease. Shark tank your dreams. Press a line for your team. Show the world what I mean when I come down. Every time I'm pulling up, I come down. Looking like a vibe. Don't set the roof when we slide. I come down. Pressure when you see me. When I'm sliding through the